actually kind of strong. Look y'all, we're not in the shop. We're at the airport. We're getting on a uh, aircraft. It's gonna take us some more fun. Well, I guess one uh, perk to this is it is a Tuesday afternoon. This is not a full flight. There's like not that many people on this flight and that's kind of rare these days. Not too bad. Well, we are California living, y'all. This is pretty snazzy. We have a fancy dinner in bed. We have proper entertainment, watching, of course, VGG on the TV. Um, we have cold snacks. <laughs> what more could we need? A Corvette to drive tomorrow? I'm trying Turo out for the first time, and I literally just reserved us a C7 Corvette to, get, to drive an hour and a half. I'm so excited. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> but then we might have to buy one when we get home. <laughs> Ran on. <laughs> oh God. Okay, it's dinner time. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all. <laughs> We're getting ready to jump in this vet. We just got here to pick it up. It kind of looks white there. Let me see if I can, yeah, it's silver. Which, guys, I don't love silver cars, but this car is so gorgeous. We just did a walk around of it. I took pictures of little blemishes that she has, which I was super happy to see that it's not like pristine. Um, Paul, the owner of this car is super nice. I've been chatting with him on the Turo app all morning and this is a really, really cool deal. Like renting cars from other people that, you know, are excited to share their pride and joys. So I'm not sure I could do it. Holy cow. This car is amazing. Aaron's already sitting in the passenger seat and he's like, woman, let's go. <laughs> this is so exciting. Y'all, I'm freaking out. I did not know that these screens, I was unaware that the screens go up and down. So that's where the key was. So like, you, you approve, you get everything approved, and then Paul unlocked the car remotely, and then he had the key in this little compartment, which is so trick, it's so snazzy. I love this car, it's so freaking rad. And it sounds really good. This is the only thing that's gonna keep me from not driving this car like a mad person automatic. It'll keep me respectful. That's what I told Paul, the owner. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna respect her and love on her. But I'm not gonna be crazy because, well, it's not my car. But if it had a standard, it would be really tempting. <laughs> I'm taking this real seriously, okay? She's somebody else's baby. I feel like the blind spots in this car are a little strange. Like, it's gonna be a little different getting used to her. 
the rumble though is good. Like her stock exhaust, he said it's stock. I think that, well, he said you can't have modded cars on Turo. That's what he said he thought. Um, which is kind of a bummer, but also understandable. Oh man, this is fun. This is real special. I'm curious. At the next stop sign, turn right. Have you guys used Turo before? This is our first time. I actually joined Turo or downloaded the app in 2019, but we'd never used it before. This is really cool. And they are not a sponsor. No. In fact, I did message them on Instagram. I was like, hey guys, can I have a marketing contact? Because I'm going to be talking about y'all in an upcoming episode and I'd love to work together because this is freaking cool. Usually when we go into places and we need to rent cars, it's kind of a pain because when Aaron and I got out of debt, we cut up all of our credit cards and rental car companies really want you to have a credit card. And so I always have to finagle like using real money, a debit card or cash. They usually will not take cash, but um, at the stop sign, turn left onto the Thomas Crossing Drive. It's then really turn right onto Trexel Road. It's really nice to be able to just pay through the app, rent from a person, the money's going to a person, not a you know corporate entity. I don't know, I'm a fan really a fan. The experience has just started, but right now my experience with the Turo app was very easy, nice, chatting with the owner. It's all been really cool, so I'm a fan. Turn left onto you. Apple Hill Road, then turn left onto Hidden River Way. Don't come find us. Uh, we've been talking for about two years about trading the Audi in because it's a 2011 model, it's getting kind of haggard, and we want a C7 Corvette. So while we're out in California, we rented one. Proceed. Really cool. And I think. In 1.8 miles, turn right onto Serrano Parkway. I think that $600 rental just cost us about 50 grand. <laughs> You look at the smile on her face. I'm in love. It's pretty fun. Top off. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my fingers in the way. Understand. Oh, good morning. Good morning to you. It's morning here. From what I understand, this is quite a big deal. It's raining a whole bunch in California right now. All night. All yesterday it rained. A lot. And from what I understand, they need it. <laughs> Check it out, man. We are in El Dorado Hills at our sweet friend's house. And it is just freaking gorgeous here. And we're about to load our bags into this Corvette and go pick up a dang old Nova. We're so excited. Before we load all of our bags, how about we do a cold start for y'all on this car? <laughs> Pickup truck. 
truck. Awesome. With room to spare. Wow. We first heard about this car from our friend Chuck, who owns Church Boys Racing. He had texted us after we had done, I think, a power tour together, and we told him, dude, if you ever run across a Nova project, we're down. So he texted us with this car, and he said, hey, Joe has this car at his house, and he's wanting to sell it, and the price is great, so consider this one. And, dude, I was just like, yes, 100% yes. It's got more doors, it's clean, it's like a granny car, and I love it. So that was like a year ago, and Joe and his wife Denise have just held it for us, and it's so sweet that they did that, and we're so thankful to finally be here to pick it up. It is about time to walk y'all around this car, and we'll get the full look down on her history and her power plants and all that good stuff. She is so sweet. Just the right amount of rough for us. So the worst parts on this car are the front fender pieces right here. Yeah. I've got, I've got, um, so Scott Fun, the guy that I bought it from, I cut some pieces off of, of another fender that is all you have to do is just you know, measure Hatch cut. It yeah, just roll them in and you're done. You're coming, Michelle. Oh, you <laughs> didn't know we were rolling. Yeah. So, you, you should know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I should know by now. So, so those, are the, those are the worst. Um, Is this a typical place for them to rest? Is not that California, not it? California. I think what happens is the mud gets up in there oh. and, and it just sits there and then eventually rots away. They were patched. California requires two VIN numbers. Oh. So on these cars, okay. Like a VIN on the engine and then on the bottom? No, VIN here and then the, the other VIN's underneath here. Hmm. So when I took this all apart, everything kind of fell apart. <laughs> I, I, you were like, so I actually, I was lucky the CHP came up. Cause I go, I can't drive it down here. If you, you're going to see it, I got the fitters off it. So he actually said, okay, I, I, I'll be up in that area. So he came by and did that. And, and then that's the, so now that's the other VIN. Okay. You can actually This do, is the VIN tag that we'll operate off of? No, the one in the door jam. Oh, okay. one in the door jam. Okay. You can probably take that off. You probably don't need it in Texas. Oh, okay. You know, so, yeah. She's so sweet, dude. And this is the original engine, we think? It's 100% original. 283. 283. And you were saying you think it's the original water pump and uh, alternator now? I, I, I would be willing to bet. I mean, it doesn't look like it, of course. It's 79,000 miles on the car. Wow. Yeah. Original bill? <laughs> no, not original <laughs> bill. But I did, I did adjust it. It was squeaking a little bit. Wow. So you drove this car here to Northern California from Ohio, where it from was From Ohio. Adjusted. So we went, went from Illinois to Ohio, and then from Ohio back here, yeah. So we drove back in that. Ooh, we picked this up, We picked this up on the way, and then we dropped it off at Chuck's. Okay. Did the power tour of the wagon, Got and, it. and then came home in this. So yeah, I drove this, and we drove that. We'd stop and we'd fill up, and she'd wait about a half hour. I'd take off, she'd wait about a half hour. <laughs> Because you were so slow? Well, I was cruising about 70. She likes to do like 75, 80, you know. So, yeah, she eventually catch up to me. And we were doing, you know, this was doing about 18, 19. 
She's, she gets like 22, 23, so. Yeah. His wagon's LS swapped and it's super beautiful. Have you driven it since? Uh, I've probably put about 800 miles on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my, my goal was I was really going to spend make it like a low rider cruiser. I was going to lower it a few inches and then just cruise and fix, fix the little areas and just not, not dump a bunch of money into it. But, right. You know, just get it to where, and then just have a nice little cruiser, you know? That's what she's going to be for us, yeah. I think. With some more church boys parts on it. Are you going to put some church boys parts on it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, does it already have some front suspension stuff? No, it's, no. Um, it, it's just, the suspension's all rebuilt. Scott did went through everything okay. in the car. It's got subframe connectors welded in. Okay. Um, it's got a lockout kit, so it, it holds alignment and it goes straight down the road. It's, it's, nice. it's nice. And the brakes feel good? Yeah, the brakes are good. You know, for four-wheel drum brakes. Right. You know. You just gotta, you gotta prepare for stops. Yes, you know? yeah, and especially when we're doing the PCH, we're gonna have to. Well, you won't be going that be fast. Be nice and cautious. <laughs> you won't be going too fast, no. though. She's and so everything cute. works with the radio. Okay. So you're used to no music, obviously. <laughs> exactly. so. Oh man, she's so sweet. And the two-speed power glide is good. Yep. You like that transmission? Well, I do. <laughs> for a glide. Well, this transmission works, you know. I don't know that I would say I like it. Yeah. I mean, a turbo 350 or something would be much better. Yeah. Okay, actually, a, a 700R or 200R4 would be great because you get, <laughs> you get a little lower first gear, so it makes it a little really 20, you get a little more peppy. Well, I, I know, you, I knew you had one. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought I'd throw it out there. Like, it's I it's sitting in the crate at home. Yeah, I kind of feel like I told you that we got a, one. A TKX would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> But then you need a bigger motor. Right, so we'd need something to bolt to it that would be yeah. adequate. Now, I don't know what your plans are for this engine, you know, I mean, it's old. We don't have it doesn't plans smoke. yet, but... It doesn't smoke. It's kind of a shame to take the original engine out of it. She's such a, like, It's a time capsule, though. you know, yeah. it's a time capsule. I mean, it's sort of like, pull it out, freshen it up, pop yeah. it back in. Yeah. Yeah. If it even needs that. This thing cranks over like nothing. I don't think it has much, much compression. So <laughs> it's just wings, man. Joe even put new wiper blades on it for us. Because you guys are getting some actual rain right well, now. So. Some rain, yes. Yeah. Thank you this for that. Washer bottles. The best original awesome. washer bottle, yeah. Oh my gosh. She's so sweet. I wonder if that's a. Original there too. Oh yeah, more than likely. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so great. She's oh, nice. awesome. Yeah, it's not, not bad. I mean, it's straight. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. the grill and stuff. So good. He said the windshield leaks a little bit. That's expected. Yeah, and then this B pillar right here will need to be addressed when you do the windshield. Oh yes, a little rust spot there. Yeah. The interior's so nice. It's decent, you know? It's, it's so definitely nice. a bouncy seat. Carpet looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's unusual dude, colors. it's really nice, Joe. I tell you, I love the smell of old cars. It's the sweetest. Yeah, I, I just redid that for you guys. <laughs> Man, that's, that's color matched duct tape. Dude, that's custom. <laughs> that is spiffy. Okay, we've given Joe money now. We're gonna crank it up. One thing that he said that's cool about this car is it's still got one key, it's got the original ignition, and he's had a lot of Novas, and that's pretty rare, usually. Yeah, there's usually two key. Mm -hmm. So this is one key, so he actually said there's an Ace Hardware down the road that we should stop at, because they have these old style keys and blanks, and that we should stop and get. You always have two keys. 
So we keep right, that on the lips. Whip in there. Okay, let's crank her up. Just tap the throttle once and let her rip. Okay. Don't make me a liar, honey. <laughs> Yep, one tap to the throttle and she cranked right up. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, look how frizzy my hair is. I was like, is she at Iowa yet? And they said, no, blip it one more time. There it is. Oh, it's so sweet. All right, let's pull her out. Coming out of this shop, y'all. She's about to go on an adventure. Oh, dang. <laughs> She's like, I'm thinking this sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. Sweet girl. I love her. <laughs> Y'all, she is such a cream puff. Thank you so much. All righty. Drive carefully. Oh, we will. Thank you. Have a safe drive. Oh, it'll be awesome. You, it'll it's be really awesome was. for Keep sure. Talking to you guys. <laughs> the contrast of these two cars is awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. righty. Aaron is driving the Nova. I'm in the Corvette. And the first stop that we're going to make is fuel. selection of keys here and Emily took an us up. We have matching names. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aaron got a uh, tool inside uh, Ace that he's very excited about. So I'm going to sit in here with him. They're set on my chips. <laughs> well, they're, they're pre-chewed then. Okay, show them what you got. <laughs> Here. 
he said, I'm pretty upset because being from Texas, I'm used to having my pistol on me and I don't have it, so I need a knife. So then he stood at the knives for like 15 minutes trying to find a knife that he wanted. The windshield is leaking on my hand. <laughs> it's literally leaking down my hand as I hold my hand there. <laughs> so then he decided not to get a knife. He decided to get a Leatherman. Ooh, look at it. It's like the transformer of tools. I think I bought one without a knife. <laughs> Babe, this car is so Oh, it's sweet. okay. Sweet. Look. Oh, bottle opener. That makes up for the lack of knife. Yep. Okay. Boy, this windshield is leaking quite a bit. I got right here. and a flathead. some pinchers. Nice. That's gonna come in handy this trip. Well, looks like I need to buy a pocket knife too. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll get I couldn't that. tell they were oh. they were like locked up. You know in the little the thingies. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't see if it had a knife with it but mm. watch this. Okay. Oh she's so sweet. She's good. Oh, I wish she... to try the new keys. Oh yeah. We actually decided to get two keys. So we have three total keys now. That one works. Check. Three cool. operational keys. Nice. Whoa, two dollars in the ashtray. And some quarters. Dang. And the light in the glove box turns on. And the dome light. Watch. Yeah, the dome light works. Oh, I love this. You almost slung those all over your interior. It's because you sat on them. Oh, right. Yeah, I weakened the paper there. Not my fault. Okay. All right, I guess I'll go get in that Corvette. Oh, my. There's no play. Yeah. I love it. Them wipers work. Okay. Love you. Cheers. So quiet. Headlights work. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. But this rig, dang. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Only one tire. <laughs> He's literally just chewing his chips. Aaron. <laughs> He's so happy with himself. He's just eating chips. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Oh my god. Look at his smoke. <laughs> He's feeling proud. He feels proud. <laughs> oh my god. That's where he did his burnout. A one tire fire. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. All right, off we go. <laughs>
Not in the bad. First impressions, this car is pretty freaking awesome. The only thing that doesn't work is the radio. It's fine, I've got Pandora on my phone. And it's just good. It's showing 79,500 miles right now. And I think that's accurate. The steering's good. The acceleration is good. Even with the two-speed power glide, doing 75 on the freeway, not a problem at all. And it's just a good driving car. It's just smooth, rides good, steers good. It's gonna be a fun trip back to Texas. hotel it is raining again full on um, we're getting ready to pull the car to the front of the hotel to unload our stuff call it a night oh my gosh <laughs> you guessed it we couldn't call it a night <laughs> I had to take her for a spin we checked in at the hotel and Erin was just talking about how dreamy she is to drive and I was like there's still daylight I gotta take her for a spin I know, I know, we're gonna have 2,000 miles in this car driving home, but we just got her and I can't wait to, to take her for a spin. It's just really good. I mean, <laughs> she just got out of C7 Corvette, so may not have the same opinion as me. <laughs> and I drive a 97 Power Stroke, so maybe it just seems better than it is, but I think it's good. She's gonna enjoy it. Let's go for a spin. I didn't know if I should like let off or if it was already fired up. It's so quiet. Wow. It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Put your headlights on. Oh. Over here? Yep. Pull them out. Mm -hmm. Okay, headlights are on. Next knob over is your windshield wipers. <laughs> Scratched. Well, it's also chipped over there, so we have to <laughs> replace it anyways. Oh, yeah, I see it. And it's leaking. Oh, yeah. Pretty bad over here. It's dripping but down. He's already got rubbers in the trunk for it. So. And it'll idle lower. I think. I don't know. It'll get there. There's a low idle. The transmission is very intentional. Yes, it is. Deliberate. Remember back in the day, the transmission guy that said it, it's got very deliberate shifts. I don't remember what kind of transmission we were talking about. Oh, that's cute. Mm. <laughs> Spider webs and everything. Just our style. Just our style. But this thing is legit. Look at this clean. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah. It's like I mean, the Bronco the, brakes. Yeah. Manual drum brakes. But they get it done. So, um, show my feet. Am I weird for driving with two feet like this? Like using my left foot for my brakes? For I, me? Go ahead, babe. She did not read the driving school book. Oh. Or she wouldn't be asking that. Well, for me, I, my left leg gets bored and it wants to have something to do. And I don't know, I just 
just like having my left leg do stuff. And on certain cars, I, I feel like I need to like have my left foot ready to like keep it running. If the title drops too low, then I want to be able to blip the throttle. Of course, not with her. She's running like a freaking dream. Stop. Let's see if she'll Go. spin them. <laughs> the roads are wet, but <laughs> that one, that one on that side definitely was like time oh, to yeah. party. Oh yeah, <laughs> babe, she's actually kind of strong. Yeah, little mama. Two eighty threes are Do pretty we good. Need to be careful with her though. I'm like, we've got a long way to go in this car. Yeah, I. It's made it this far. Okay. Is it squeak as a break? Squeaky. Yeah. Need a little lubricant. And her dash and interior is just so pretty to me. I agree. She's dreamy. Nana the Nova is what we're thinking of calling her, y'all. Because she looks like a grandma's car. And she's kind of like... She seems like she's a fun grandma. Like she wants to have some fun, but she'll take care of you. And she's kind of, you know, she's got some age on her, but she's still pretty, you know? <laughs> I love her. She's so freaking sweet. What do you predict breakdown ability is? Do you think she's going to break down on us, or do you think we're going to, like, run into no issues and people are going to call us frauds because she doesn't ever break? for 2,000 miles driving all the way home to Texas from Northern California. Based on my two hour drive, I don't think this car is braking at all. It's just good, it's solid. We don't have a temp gauge or an oil gauge. Right. So. I mean, there's little lights on here. Oil light, temp light, and gen. What does the gen mean? Generator? Generator, yep. Like for the alternator for the volts? Yep. Got it, yeah. Yeah, so if it doesn't have a gauge, it can't break. <laughs> but if the light goes thinking. off, then that means that there could be a problem. But that's assuming that the light still works. Yeah. Dude, what do y'all think? Um, this car has not been restored. It's, it's a real survivor. So what are some of the things that could go out on it? Like, the brakes feel good, but I feel like, you know, brake lines and stuff get brittle and bad. And I mean, like, what else could go wrong? The alternator. Oh, Joe said he feels like the alternator and water pump are both original to the car, so those could be and he potential. He gave us a water pump. It's in the back. Yeah. Just in case we need it. I'm excited to hear y'all's comments about what might could go wrong on our trip home. The plan is that we want to shoot down to the coast because I am obsessed with Highway One, so the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway is like the most gorgeous drive I've ever done and I want to do it again. So we're going to shoot down to the coast and then drive down the coast until LA and then we have a flight out of LAX on the 26th, so that's a week from now, um, to go do something with Derek, um, Vice Grip Garage. And then we're going to fly back into LAX and jump back in the car for duct tape drags that's at the end of the month in Tucson. Yep. So we're going to be gathering with everybody on the 30th in LA and then taking a convoy of awesome cars, i.e. poop boxes. They're going to be amazing. Um, and driving to Tucson and then doing yep. duct, tape, duct tape drags and then driving to Texas from there. So that's the plan. I cannot wait to hear y'all's um, opinion of this car and what you think might break, if anything. And I'm going to edit this episode tonight and kick it out for y'all. And I'm going to try to do daily uploads like I did on Power Tour. And I didn't hire an editor. <sighs> what have I done? Anyway, love y'all. <laughs> I'll see you soon.